bad electrical contact at the edge connector, is the most probable cause for the ZX spectrum to freeze or behave erratically when the interface 1 bis is activated. It is irrelevant that other interfaces work well on the same machine. Actually, it is exactly the very hard edge receptacle contacts of other devices, that, by cutting grooves in the ZX Spectrum's board edge, create difficulties for the interface 1 bis, which has, softer contacts. Applying some electro lube, EML, solves this problem, and also, reduces wear and tear. The only other possible, though far less probable, cause of malfunction, is the corruption of the interface's operating system. This can be easily reloaded though, from the supplied SD card, or one prepared, as shown in another video tutorial. To restore the operating system it is necessary to load a suitable utility, via the ZX Spectrum's ear socket, while the interface is switched on. A start menu shortcut, to the operating system loader, was created by the ZXS setup, general software installer. When the operating system is transferred from the SD card to the interfaces on board memory, LEDs, B, and S blink shortly and then, B stays on. The operation can fail only, if the electrical contact at the edge connector is inadequate. There simply cannot be any other cause, and this has to be addressed, before further restoration attempts are undertaken. The operating system loader, can also be rendered by the interface 1 bis itself, if it is equipped with an ear cable, that is available as an optional accessory. If no suitable audio signal source is available, or for ZX Spectrum models 2 and 3, which don't have an ear, socket, an operating system loader program has to be entered manually, in 48K basic mode. <laughs> 